Hi everyone and welcome back to the Leeds Career Mode on FIFA 22. Blasting through episodes, blasting through games, blasting through seasons at this point. It's season 3, of course. Uh, we just finished second in the Premier our second season, which is crazy. We've made unbelievable progress throughout this career mode so far. Um, in the first episode, it went for way over half an hour, and we brought in Leon Bailey and Imerick Laporte and Kyle Walker. I almost forgot about him. Um, it's the primary additions to the squad. We also brought in Christian Pavon on the bench, and we sold, most notably, Jack Harrison. Now, obviously, the defence doesn't need to be touched for this season um, in terms of the starting back line anyway, and I thought, you know, we'll give Dan James a second full season in a starting wing position. We'll try him on the left last season. On the right, he was immense. Um, could have done a bit better in front of goal. I think that would have actually probably won us the title had we had a, a more world-class player in that position, but now we've brought in a player to replace James on the right, and James is replacing Harrison on the left. However, I've just got a transfer offer for him, and keep in mind we do have Pavon, the backup winger. Um, it says we can get around 60 mil for him from Leverkusen. Now, that's great. Um, we have 72 mil, so if we get, say, 50 mil, if we're lucky, because we know how the CPU are, we'll get 120 mil for that. And I'm actually thinking about it. So say we get a respectable amount for Daniel James and then say just 40 or 50 mil more from the sale of a man going by the name of Robin Koch, who I have put on the transfer list for this. He could get us, say, 30 mil. Again, if we're lucky because the CPU are gay. Um, what are we looking at there? That's You're probably looking at 70 mil, 70 mil. So you're probably looking at around 150 million pounds. So then you're probably looking at a purchasable left winger such as Marcus Rashford. What do we think about that? Because you think about worst possible scenario, we can't afford Rashford, so we just get someone a little bit worse, maybe even younger. Not really that bad. Because then, you haven't, okay, you haven't heard the, the big part. You're probably wondering, okay, why have you not, why, why are you going to have no backup centre back? Are you going to play Strauch? No. Sergio Ramos is a free agent. Yeah, he's 37, but he's still 83 rated. He's he's just such a good player. We, know, we don't need to tell you how good Sergio Ramos is, so we'll bring him in. Um, that is the plan, at least. So, Daniel James, Leverkusen have come in. I'm going to negotiate. I want, I want that 60 mil, if possible. I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. This is a huge gamble. I wouldn't say huge, but it's, it's a pretty substantial gamble. So, I'll ask for... I'll ask for 61 mil. I'll ask with big money first off. They've paid it. Wow, that is perfect. Okay, that's almost double his transfer value. Wow. Um, so we have our first game of the season against Chelsea away, which is just terrible. Um, so I don't know if we're going to get an offer for Koch in that time because you know that EA is not great with transfer offers most of the time. Um... We have another offer for Reese James. That was unexpected. Okay, well, they're going to have to match that price tag, maybe even go over. But if I get a higher price from Leipzig, Leverkusen will be the one that gets James. That's how the algorithm works. There's nothing really I can do about that. Let's just up that to 66.7, see what they say. 52.2, not interested in that. Go up to 62, mate. 60.4. match 61 and they'll match it so whether he goes to Leipzig or Leverkusen I don't care because we get the exact same amount and neither team is in the Prem obviously I want to, I liked Dan James last year I want, want to use him but if we want to win the Prem he's just not going to be at that level and we have Pavon to come off the bench so you know you get what I'm you get what I'm saying we do have Chelsea um, to kick off this episode I don't think anything would have happened in those couple of days okay he hasn't gone to Leverkusen. Um, they're trying to change his position. Oh, I put him on a left winger development plan. That's right, because I was going to use him on the left. Um, I guess I'll change it. It doesn't really matter. As long as we manage to get him sold. Uh, but we do have this game now against Chelsea to kick off the season. So we won't know what's going on with Dan James until after the game, of course. In terms of a lineup, I'm going to give... Pretty much everyone, their debut, I'm going to bring Pav on, on at some point, I'd assume. But Laporte starts, Walker starts, uh, Leon Bailey starts, and obviously, as I said, Pavon 
on the bench. Um, Chelsea have got a very, very strong side. Pulisic was one of the wingers I was actually looking at. Um, he's just not quite at that level that I'm trying to get a left winger to be. Like, my long-term left winger, I say long-term, we won't be here for long-term, but I'm talking, like, the big player that I'm going to have on the left needs to be better than Christian Pulisic, which says it all, because Pulisic is a fantastic player. Um, they've signed Jules Koundé as centre-back. Still got Mendy, Stefan de Frey and Zubeldia from Sociedad, I believe, because they have all those players that start with Z. Um, very interesting backline there with de Frey, Koundé, you know, a mix of experience and youth and Zubeldia as just your, I don't know, the next Asbilla Quetta potentially. <laughs> I don't freaking know. Let's get the kickoff. Here we go, Daniel Marlin rocking the number nine jersey. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. I haven't done a live com game since... Oh, actually, no, last episode I did the FA Cup final and that final game at Old Trafford. I did them live. But apart from that, I spent pretty much all of last season, except for like the first couple games, doing it in highlight form, didn't I? So a great test to start the season. Away at Chelsea, one of the title favourites for sure. Um, Leon Bailey's first involvement in a lead shirt is a foul. Of course, he's at Aston Villa in real life. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted him. I really did want him. We haven't really seen what he's made of just yet in real life. Um, but we all know that Leon Bailey does have quality. We saw it when he was at Leverkusen, who are the team that came in for Dan James at first. And obviously, he hasn't left. Worst case scenario, he doesn't go to Leipzig or Leverkusen and I, I end up... Hang on, let's get this out. I end up reconsidering selling him. Jesus, Reese James, that's at least a yellow. He was a potential player we could have brought in at right back, but he would have been almost twice the price of Kyle Walker, who was like 22 mil or something like that. Get this out, lads. There we go. Reese James straight into the feet of Daniel Marlin, who can try and burn his man here for pace. He has done. Stay ahead, Marlin. Marlon, yes, half an hour in, 1-0, Leeds United, Donnell Marlon was the guy to score it, thank goodness, what a clearance from Dan James, and then Marlon ran it from inside his own half, left foot slot into the corner, past Edouard Mendy, thank goodness, let's not let Lukaku in behind, that's too easy lads, Lukaku, Laporte got there first, Valverde, Marlon across to Kyle Walker, on his debut, misses just before half time Kyle Walker drags it wide and nah, it is what it is very very good first half um, hopefully we can keep that up and we have no e aids where Chelsea just turn into <laughs> Jose Mourinho Chelsea ZX is in behind and they found the ball in Dan James is back here and he's actually done a job defensively James past James I keep calling Dan James Reese James as well. God, he's so quick, isn't he? Dan James. Oh, I probably wouldn't have. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself if he scored there. Um, Lukaku's in. Oh, God. Oh, no. Lads, Lukaku's chipped. Ah. That was way too easy. Poor defending. Lukaku just wiggles through everyone. Never knew he had that in the locker. Primarily because he doesn't. That was just bad defending. And then I brought Melier out. I mean, even if he didn't come out, you know, Lukaku was still going to put that near post and he was going to score it. Um, we've just taken Marlon off as we need a goal. Not great. The scoreboard, there it goes again. Shocking that that's still an issue. It's unbelievable. Every game, it feels like. We don't want to lose this, boys. How is Lukaku doing that again? What the hell? Okay, one time, I get it. But Lukaku has just wiggled through our defense again. Hmm, don't know about that one. He can't do that. I'm sorry. I mean, very few players on the planet can do that, let alone Romelu Lukaku. There we go, lads. Win it back. Be smart with it now. Olmo, hit that. Oh my gosh, what a shot from Danny Olmo. Oh, okay, settle down, lads. We've got that goal. Danny Olmo. Ooh, was that a Pavon assist? Ward Prowse into Pavon. Yeah, a Pavon debut assist. It's a good ball. Olmo just bang. 
in off the bar up to the roof of the net. Now, I think we need to make that final change. Um, not a great debut for Laporte. Obviously, he's conceded to. Hmm. I might give Kyle Walker a rest. He's been all right. I mean, he missed a shot. He's not really had much to do. Same with Bailey. He's just not really got a chance to show what he's made of. Lads, don't let him in. Ziek, great tackle, Laporte. Just get it out of there. And it is full time. You wouldn't know because the scoreboard doesn't freaking show, but it was 2-2 in the end. <laughs> That's an all right result. Daniel James has been sold. 56 million goes to our bank balance. 128 mil all up. Wow. I'm going to go in for Rashford now. I'm going to see what they say. I'm going to see what they say. Why not? Why wait? Marcus Rashford could be available for, for purchase. Let's just offer it. Why don't we start off with 95 million again, starting low. They're going to want so much more than that. It's not funny. But we can afford it. We can afford it, you know. They want 132 and a half mil. Why don't we try 107? They said yes. We can get him. And then, obviously, we can still sell Koch and get Ramos. But we can get Rashford in now. This is incredible. Marcus Rashford is about to come to Leeds United. That would be a very controversial move if it happened in real life. But mate, selling Dan James got us Marcus Rashford. That is crazy. Is he going to take a five-year deal? He actually does. Oh, my God. He doesn't even want that much. He's taking a 50K per week cut. Let's give him 185K. And he says, yes, Marcus Rashford is a Leeds United player. You did not just mishear me. He is a Leeds United player player I am I am at a loss for words Fabianski comes out Rashford comes in I mean Jesus what a signing now we're looking like contenders now we're looking like contenders baby look at that team so in terms of a number for Rashford, this is going to be tough. I don't want to give him the number seven. Actually, let's get him on a left wing development plan first off. I know you're not supposed to really do this, but I'm sorry. I've got to give him the 17 shirt. So Bamford can have 20... Oh, Jesus. I, I really don't care. Um, sorry, Patrick. 23 for Bamford. That looks fine. I don't really care. Rashford can have the number 17. Okay. I'm at peace. I'm okay with the fact that we did just do that. Um, and I obviously want to change Rashford's boots. I have these boots. They're not very good. Oh, yeah, there's his new wheels. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's got to be these. It's got to be these. Adidas Predator Freaks. Thank you very much. That is the team. That is the team. We will win the Premier League, no questions asked. I can't, I can't go in with that attitude, but Melier as the captain, Laporte and Romero the centre-backs, left-back Furpo, right-back Walker, centre-mids Ward-Prowse and Valverde, Cam Olmo, left-wing Rashford, right-wing Bailey and striker Doniel Marlin. What a team. What a team. I'm very much looking forward to this uh, next game against Fulham where we get to use Rashford. Actually, before we do that, I think it's worth having a look at Sergio Ramos. So since we have about 20 mil to play with still, um, I don't see a point in waiting. Let's just keep Koch and bring in Ramos. Why not just give ourselves some more squad depth? I mean, I'd, I'd probably prioritise using Koch, if I'm honest, because I want to keep developing Koch and have him at as high of an overall as possible as our backup centre-back. And Ramos just isn't going to really grow that much. But if we need him to step in, which I'm sure we will at times, we'll get him to... I think he'll want important as a squad role. He'll take rotation. That is awesome. And we actually get to sign him for three. Fr freaking hell. Three years is great for a 37-year-old. So he'll be here till he's, till he's 40. Worst case scenario, he gets upset and we just sell him. But I don't think he'll be worth a great deal. Now, as for a wage, I'll just offer him what the game's recommending. 72k per week. Sergio Ramos is now 
a Leeds United player. It's a bit of a weird one, that. So we obviously haven't got much in the bank now, but that's good. We've just improved the squad all over the pitch. Obviously bringing in I'm Rick Laporte, Kyle Walker, um, Marcus Rashford, Leon Bailey, and Christian Pavon. And obviously now we have brought in Sergio Ramos. So good. So he is going to be the main centre-back um, in the reserves. I mean, I could probably get away with selling Strauch, to be honest, but um, I'm not. I'm not gonna not gonna do that. There's no real need. So now our our team is looking absolutely mint. Um, I'll try and give Ramos some game time, but he's actually really just here to fill out the squad, which is crazy because obviously Sergio Ramos is one of the best defenders in football history. So it's pretty crazy. Um, all these numbers are actually really uh, are actually filled up. So where where what number could we give Ramos? Fourteen looks all right on him. Twenty. It's about thirty-four. Thirty-four is fine for him. Welcome to the club, Sergio Ramos. He's going to add a good amount of depth to the squad. And yeah, I look forward to playing him, but he will not feature in this game against Fulham. Rashford will. We are going to play Rashford, and we are going to, hopefully, smash Fulham. That team is a joke, mate. Check out the lads. I know I've said it a couple of times, but I just... It's unbelievable. This is the start of our third season. We've already got this this quality in our team. It's, it's unbelievable. Back at Ellen Road for this one. Let's get straight into it. Come on, lads. Sometimes my player arrow is... Um, what am I talking about? It's sometimes red and sometimes it's blue. It's just a bit random. So, you know, I do apologize about that. It might get a little bit confusing. I'm sure it doesn't matter too much, though. Walker. Olmo. Walker, go near post. Ooh, Kyle Walker almost scored with his left. Bailey. Great cut inside. Put it across the box. Oh, Leon Bailey with a nice bit of play there. Here's Canny now. Laporte should catch him. Walker gets to the pass as well. He's been quality so far today. Ward-Prowse, it would have been nice if he found a very, very simple pass down the line there. Because now we're on the back foot and we do not want to concede to Fulham at home. We really should be keeping a clean sheet. It shouldn't even be in question. Yes, Kyle Walker. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he got tackled. Here we go, Ward-Prowse. Finds Kyle Walker. What a pass to Bailey. Hit that near post. Oh, Kyle Walker is all over them at the moment. Didn't really see much of Bailey at Stamford Bridge in his Leeds debut oh, in the last game. Romero, Rashford, nice pass in behind. Furpo, it's a terrible pass. No power on it whatsoever. Was never going to find the middle man. Oh, I told it to go back to the keeper for a reason. Jesus Christ, game. You got to listen to what I'm saying, bro. You got to do what I'm doing with my fingers with these buttons. Ward Prowse. What a knock. Rashford with the ball in and Marlon does score on the brink of half time. Rashford could have gone alone and got his debut goal, but he knocks it across. That is a valuable bit of play. What a ping from JWP, by the way. James Ward-Prowse, that is an absolute rocket of a pass straight over the top for Rashford. I'll be honest, I was going for Furpo, but I, I'm not going to complain even though the game passed, passed it to the wrong player. We scored from it. That's fine. Good half. Um, a bit shaky. We've lost the ball a few times, but it is what it is. I'm sure we'll come good in the second half and get that clean sheet and seal the win. So Rashford with the debut assist. Walker is playing sensational football at the moment. Offensively, defensively, just brilliant. Um, hopefully we can get something going in this game to get another goal. That's a nice bit of play. Jesus Christ. It's a needless foul, that. Totally needless. Let's pass this to Valverde. Around the side for Bailey. Great touch by Daniel Marlin. Oh, Marlin. I want golden boot for this man. I want the golden boot. What a screamer. That is an absolute belter of a goal. 
It wasn't even much of a belter, really. It's just Bailey with his first goal involvement for the club. What a first touch. And then the precision to find the top corner is just sensational. Marlon, you are a beautiful man. Oh, my God, Romero. That is shocking. What are you doing, mate? Jesus, Melio, thank you. Oh, let's make a change because it's a bit shaky. It's a little bit shaky. I'm going to bring on Henriks at left back. I'm going to bring in Rodrigo. Uh, and I'm going to leave the last sub for later. I want to bring off one of the wingers and I want to give Pavon another go. He got an assist in his first game at Stamford Bridge. We haven't been particularly good today. I think Fulham, Fulham's execution could have been a bit better. As I say that, they're probably going to go on to score six now. But, you know, if we want to be challenging for the title, which we do this season, then we just can't be losing games like this. Or really even conceding in them. Thank you for the block, Laporte. Rodrigo with a sensational pass down the left-hand side. Rashford cuts in. Great play from Marcus Rashford. Walker. Rodrigo and Valverde linking up there. Just hit it, Rashford. Oh, my God. I was not expecting that to even go on target, let alone go into the top right corner. Marcus Rashford. Jeez Louise, mate. A goal and an assist on his debut. Let's let's bring him off, give him a rest. Um, unbelievable. What a man. Christian Pavon gets a few minutes. It's a bit harsh on Pavon. He's such a good good player and he's not like going to get a great deal of, of game time. But we will have games where some of our wingers are unfit and we can afford to drop them because Pavon is that good. And Henrik's used to playing right back pretty much all of last season. But he's made a good tackle. Come on. There we go. The ref's thankfully blown the whistle. We get the clean sheet and we get the 3-0 W. That is awesome. So they, those are the sorts of games we should be winning and, and doing in that fashion. Although I think we could have played a lot better than that. Very impressed with Marcus Rashford. A goal and an assist, of course. And I think it was Bailey and Valverde with the other assists. I have taken Koch off the transfer list. Of course, we're going to keep him and we're going to use him probably a bit more than Ramos, as, as I've already sort of, sort of talked about. Um, we will be wrapping up the January transfer window in this episode as well. So... We'll play this game against Southampton and then wrap up the window. There's no more business I want to do. And Southampton have been a bit of a bogey team for us um, in this series so far. So I do want to get the win against them. I might give Ramos his Premier League debut. I might bring him on in the second half. Or, I mean, if someone gets injured, obviously, um, I'll bring them on. Um, I'm not trying to cheat or anything here. I'm just going to quickly switch the weather to overcast because I can't see when it's sunny. <laughs> James Ward-Prowse is playing against his old club today. This is a big day for him. Um, I'm, I, I know he's already played against Southampton, you know, in this series, but I don't think one on Livecom. I mean, I don't remember the last time we played Southampton on Livecom. It was probably back in Season 1, to be honest. Here's some random Korean guy who nearly just whacked at top bins. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Away she goes. Away, away, please. Jesus, how difficult is it? Oh, my God. Valverde, bro. Hold it up. Jesus, what are you doing? Okay, now go, 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 go. There we go. We found the ball through. Furpo. Rashford. Lay it off to Valverde. He didn't have to fall over. That was kind of pointless. Oh, we're going to have to go back again. Kind of just keeping the ball at this point, not really doing anything with it. Olmo, Valverde, Walker, great ball, and Olmo smashes it in. As I was saying, we're not doing anything with the ball. On the half hour half mark, we've, we've made it 1-0. That's, that's great. Oh, Ward-Prowse, watch the touch, bro. It's all right, still got it. Valverde. Just hit that, Bailey. Marlon's there, he scored. Great play from the lads. Bailey unlucky not to score, but Marlon is there for 2-0. What a ball. Rashford on a tight angle, and he's actually scored it. There it is. 3-0 before halftime. Leon Bailey with the assist. Rashford over the top for Marlon. Marlon, look back post. Bailey's header. 
There we go. Leon Bailey with his first Leeds United goal. Romero. Walker. Carry this forward, lad. Valverde. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Um, once again, the corner goes straight out to them. Of course it does. Ramos just sticks a foot in and says, no, you don't. You're not doing any Romelu Lukaku spaz. If you know, you know. Walker. What a bit of play that is from Kyle Walker. Pavon with great play. Olmo. Great ball. Oh, what a save. Got to give it to the keeper. That is a great save. That would have been a sick goal from the lads. Oh, it's great play. Drive, Pavon. Drive. Great ball. Let's get it. 5-0 to Leeds. We are destroying Southampton. I was going into it. Oh, they're a bogey team. We have killed them. We've killed them. Pavon with another assist. I thought he was left-footed. It seems as though he might be right-footed. He can still play either wing, either side of, of the wing, but I actually thought he was left-footed. Um, it appears that he's right. He is right. Okay, that's my bad. <laughs> Marlon with the assist. Actually, last sub I'll make, I don't think I've made three subs yet, is I will, I will take Marlon off for Patrick Bamford. I'll give Bamford a go. He, he didn't really start any games last season. Um, but he did do well when he when he came on and, you know, he made his impacts, whatever. He's got the number 23 shirt, so he's kind of been a bit forgotten about, but he's never really been super prolific for us or anything like that. He's gone through a couple of purple patches here and there, but nothing special. Valverde, that is an absolutely killer ball. Pavon, oh, I was looking for Bamford. Olmo wins it. Bamford, Rashford, the scoreboard's gone again. Olmo, what a ball, and Rashford's there for 6-0. Oh, my goodness. That is exquisite play. Sensational. Look at Olmo here with the fancy feet, and then the ball, the run, just the cohesion of the lads. It's just, it's just beautiful. It's 6-0. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. We are not going to lose out on this title. No. Nope. Oh, great save by Melier. 6-0 is the score at this point still. Oh. No one saw anything. They gave us the goal kick. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, we didn't even win the freaking header. 6-0. Nothing more needs to be said. We smashed them. Two for Rashford. Two for Marlon. Bailey got a goal. And Olmo got a goal too. Moise Keane has gone back to Juventus. Wow. But we're just going to skip through deadline day. I mean, I might just skip through it via the calendar, to be honest, because we just don't need to be don't need to be here for it. It doesn't, really just doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we've had a great start to the season so far. Two all draw at Stamford Bridge is respectable, and then a 3-6-0 and six nil win against Fulham in Southampton. That is unbelievable. Um, what notice did we get? We didn't get any offers or anything like that. So I signed up, obviously, a bunch of Aussie people because we have to sign a bunch to the freaking team or whatever it is. I mean, they're kind of just there just in case. Like, I'm not really sure if I even need to because my manager rating is currently 90. Um, but I've got a bunch of players. I've got a 1 million guy, Louis Davey. I don't know. Ugh. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We're making Rashford a left winger because he will, you know, get higher overall attribute attribute boosts. I can't speak. Um, playing as a left winger in a in a system where he's registered as a left winger. Manager rating is at ninety two. We're loving life right now. Currently fourth in the league. Um, next up in the season, I was just on the calendar. Uh, is Crystal Palace at home, and then. Champions League time. So let's check our group. Um, I think we can press X and then we can go see our group. So I've already seen we've got Villarreal and Copenhagen, which isn't too bad. But I fear there may be another blockbuster team. If not, we could probably easily get out of the group. I'd say we're much better than Villarreal. Again, I'm not sure what their team looks like. We've got Wolfsburg. So two teams that are not terribly high quality. Um, I will have a look at their squads, though. 
just to sort of see and get a gauge like of where we're at. Because Wolfsburg could be winning the Bundesliga every year right now. I don't know. I doubt it because FIFA is not that like smart to switch things up. Um, but they've got Jao Pedro at top, Maximilian Arnold, William Salaber and Tilo Carrera. They've got good centre-backs, but overall, their team's not that good. You know, their, their team is probably third-place quality in that group unless Villarreal are just that horrendous, which they're not. So they're sort of the same quality. You've got Alcacer. They've got a good team. They've got Hermoso at the back, Juan Foyth. Parejo, Pablo Fornals went back to Villarreal. That's a very interesting one. They signed Sandro, Ruiz, a good keeper. They got a, a decent team. I think one of them two will certainly be joining us in the round of 16 qualifiers, but they can't compete with that team. They cannot compete with that team. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed, I'd love it if you left a like on, on the, the video and subscribed to my channel. That would really, really help me out. Um, hang on, we've got an offer for Somerville. I'll accept it. I'm just not going to use him. May as well accept it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's really good to, to, to keep this up and keep playing FIFA 22. I will be doing career mode, of course, on FIFA 23, so I'm really looking forward to that. But apart from that, I will see you all in the next video.